Hey, what's up? Today I'm just going to show you how to um, root your Nook Color 1.2. I got my Nook Color here. Um, why would you want to do this? You want to do this because the Nook Color 1.2 App Store is terrible and you have to pay for apps that would otherwise be free. So we're going to get an Android Market on here and maybe, um, actually kind of ironic, but I'm going to actually install the Amazon Marketplace on here as well because when you install Android Marketplace on here, it gets rid of a lot of apps for some reason. So if you install the um, Amazon Marketplace, you're actually going to have a lot more to choose from, and it's going to be a, a much nicer experience. So eventually we're going to actually get Amazon Marketplace on here. So anyway, here's my Nook Color video. Come down here. I have all my downloads listed. Um, first, you're going to need Clockwork, so we're going to get that first. Get the one that's the same size as your SD card that you have um that you're using with your Nook. I have an 8 gig micro SD card. So I'm going to get the 8, 8 gigabyte download. So download all four of those files. I have them all set up here. And you're going to want to extract Clockwork, the disk imager, and the image files. And you can just leave manual neuter as it is. I already extracted some of these. So there's our Clockwork extracted and our image uh, disk image extracted so we're gonna get the disk imager open it up run it as administrator alright we browse go back to my desktop and we're gonna um, browse to the clockwork clockwork image so I got the 8 gig clockwork image I'm gonna save that and I did not plug my SD card in so I have an SD card adapter that's what you should probably use Something like that. So I got my micro SD card that I use with my Nook. I plug it in there. And then I just plug it into the side of my computer. And a second later, we get an, um, a pop-up here that should say Auto Run or whatever. Okay, there it is. As you see, we get the autoplay. Removable disk ask. We don't need that, but we do need the drive letter. It is drive F you can see here, so we're going to use F, we got our thing, we're just going to hit the right button, are you sure, yes, and then we're just going to leave that, let it sit, and wait for it to finish. Alright, and now that that is finished, we are going to just close it, and now we knew we need to get these uh, image files, so we're going to extract the image files. Okay, there they are. I'm just going to open this up. And now I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to go to the, the drive that I just installed this on. And I'm going to rename UREC image, U image. Say match. And URAM disk. UREC RAM becomes URAM disk. Okay, we just copy these and overwrite them, copy and replace, copy and replace. Alright, and finally, we take manual neuter, we copy it, and we paste the entire zip file in there. Alright, now we can eject it from the computer, it's all set up. Okay, take that out. Got my SD card, and we need to make sure the Nook color is off. So you hold the power button, hit the power off button. All right, now that's turning off. I'm going to flip this over, open the door in the back, and insert the US the SD card. Alright, there's that. I'm going to power back up. And it's loading. Going to turn this sideways now. We use the volume up and down key to navigate, and we use the end button to apply. 
So we're going to hit install zip from SD card. Zip from SD card. And then we're going to click manual loader. Her scroll down to yes. And install it. Alright, now we're going to go to go back. Then we're just going to hit reboot the system. All right now it's rebooting. I can take the S I need to take the SD card out for now, just so it can start up. So SD card's out. It says read forever again. And then it loads it up. All right, now just swipe it. We want to make sure we open with Zeem Launcher. And there we have it. Now we have a custom apps. We have access to um and we have access to the market. So you set that up and you are good to go. You have a rooted nook color. As you can see, there's not really that many apps that show up in the market by default. Not paid to free. There's just not too many that show up in here due to restrictions. So to bypass that, what I do is I go to the web, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the um, Amazon Marketplace. So I'm just going to type in Google Amazon App Store. All right, I'm going to get the App Store for Android. To get started, download the Android App Store. It says here, all you have to do is enter your email address in, into the corner. And then once you do that, you can go to your email. You get a link for the Amazon App Store download. So download it. So it's downloading now. Okay, and now it's done. I can open it up. I want to open it with Package Installer. Oh, one second, I had to... Actually, what I have to do now is, it did not work because I have to change something real quick. I have to go to the Nook Color Tools. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to uncheck Allow Non-Market Apps and just check it again. I think that'll fix it. Let's see here. I'm also going to need a file manager because I can't um, browse to the file. So I'm just going to go back to the market. I'm going to actually download and install a file manager. This is the first one I saw. It's installing. I'm going to open up the file manager. Accept whatever those terms are. Okay, go to the downloads. Use package installer. All right, and now I can hit the install button, and it installs successfully. I can launch it, and now I have access to the Amazon App Store, where I can download tons and tons of apps. And it works a lot nicer than the um, default market, the Android market, when you're using Nook Color 1.2. So there you have it. Um, thanks for watching my video. Have a good one.